everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy and I am so glad you're here. I recently spent a long weekend in Cincinnati, Ohio visiting a friend and she took me to so many amazing restaurants, coffee shops, and more. In today's video, I'm taking you along with me and showing you the highlights of my time spent in Cincinnati. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. I arrived to Cincinnati on a Thursday right around dinner time, so after a quick tour of my friend's apartment, we headed right to dinner at Asiana Thai and Sushi. The reviews of this tiny mom and pop restaurant speak for themselves, but they were also included in Yelp's list of the best 100 restaurants in the US in 2020. We started our meal with fried tofu triangles paired with a sweet and sour sauce, as well as sushi rolls. My spicy salmon roll was delicious. For my entree, I got the sweet and sour stir fry with chicken that consisted of pineapple and an assortment of veggies in a sweet and sour sauce. It was served with rice on the side and it was amazing. I absolutely demolished it and I am still thinking about how good it was. After dinner, we headed over to Oakley Wines, a beautiful wine bar and bottle shop. Carrying all organic and predominantly natural wines, it was such a nice space to catch up with my friend over some delicious drinks. I had a glass of champagne as well as a wine flight and everything I tried was super good. We finished the night with drinks at Oakley Pub and Grill, known as OPG. We ended up having a quick lunch at OPG on Friday as well, but I forgot to take footage of it, so this exterior shot will have to do. The people who worked at OPG were so nice and I will never get over how friendly people were in Cincinnati. After a fun Thursday night, we woke up on Friday ready to explore. We placed an order at Brown Bear Bakery to ensure we got the pastries we wanted, more on that in a moment, and headed downtown. Our first stop was to Coffee Emporium to feed my addiction to caffeine. Coffee Emporium coffees are roasted locally in small batches and the company emphasizes the importance of their relationship with their farmers and investing in them and their communities, buying directly from farmers to ensure they receive top dollar for their coffee. I picked up three bags of their whole beans, the OBM Espresso, Hazelnut, and Mackinac Island Fudge and ordered a giant iced vanilla latte. The latte was delicious and since being home I've made the Mackinac Island Fudge coffee and it is so good. After our stop at Coffee Emporium, we walked over to Brown Bear Bakery to pick up our pastries. You guys, this place was incredible. We got four different pastries to try. The Cheddar Chive Scone, the Cardi B, which is a brioche cardamom bun rolled in cardamom sugar, the Cinnamon Roll, which is a brioche roll with cream cheese icing and orange zest, and the Grapefruit Bun, which is a brioche bun filled with a sweet mascarpone and grapefruit curd topped with a grapefruit glaze and herbs de Provence. Every single thing we got was amazingly good, especially the cinnamon roll and the grapefruit bun, which in particular totally blew our minds. After we caffeinated and carved up, we were ready to do something fun outside, so we headed to the Art Climb, a new installation of 166 steps that connect the Cincinnati Art Museum to Gilbert Avenue and the community below. We walked the nine-story stairs that includes different art pieces and sculptures and was a super fun way to get a little exercise with a beautiful view. Following the Art Climb, we headed up to Mount Adams, a beautiful neighborhood high up on a hill, and stopped by the Overlook to take in the city skyline. It was time to do a little shopping in the afternoon. We stopped by King Arthur's Court, a really cute toy store where I bought not one but two lava lamps. I know, who am I? I also want to mention Meta Modern Music, a record store where I picked up two vinyls because the owner was so friendly and helpful. So if you're in Cincinnati, stop by his shop on Alston Street. We finished our Friday off back up in Mount Adams at an eclectic bar called The Blind Lemon. Established in 1963, The Blind Lemon has a beautiful outdoor patio space and a really interesting interior. The drink I tried was the Little Miss Sour, a delicious gin-based cocktail. We decided that Saturday was going to be our relaxation day of little plans, so we started the day with a nice brunch at Luvino, a southern-style restaurant and wine bar in Over the Rhine. We shared a pitcher of mimosas, as one does, and my friend had the pancake tacos, which sounds weird, but they were truly delicious, and I ordered the biscuits and gravy, which was divine, a high compliment from a biscuits and gravy expert like myself. Following brunch, we headed to Red Tree Art Gallery and Coffee Shop to pick up some iced lattes. Red Tree has a bunch of cool art displayed as well as local goods to shop, plus the iced latte I got was super good. After spending the afternoon doing some arts and crafts, we decided the only correct way to spend our final night together was to go to a Mexican restaurant for chips, salsa, and margaritas. We shared chips, queso, and salsa, and man, there is truly nothing like a lime margarita on the rocks. For my meal, I ordered the beef flautas and they were really good. This was the perfect vibe for our final night together. I left Cincinnati on Sunday morning, but we had to get one last spot in before we parted ways. 
We had breakfast at Sugar and Spice Diner, a Cincinnati staple since 1941. Sugar and Spice is a classic diner restaurant with the cutest retro feel. I decided to go big before going home and had chocolate chip pancakes, home fries, and bacon, all of which was delicious. Apparently, the thing at Sugar and Spice is that everyone gets to pick a rubber ducky to take home, so this little giraffe came home with me. I had the most incredible long weekend in Cincinnati, which has so many fun places to go, delicious food to eat, and beautiful architecture and sights to see. If you're looking for a smaller city with super interesting neighborhoods to explore, I highly recommend a weekend in Cincinnati. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out and I will see you in the next one.